Hello everybody, how are you? Salsa here from Uniproductions.tk And today I bring you a really exciting video. This is the Untethered Jailbreak for 5.1.1. This supports every device except the Apple TV 3rd generation. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you're going to do first, you're going to go ahead to this website I'll leave in the description and download the latest version of Absinthe. I'm going to download um, 2.0.1 let it focus so it catches on better so you're going to go ahead and download it, I have a Mac there's a version for Linux and Windows and Mac so I'm going to go ahead and download it as you can see it downloaded already, it's a DMG file here we have it, Absinthe so we're going to go ahead and drag this to my applications I already had Absinthe 1.0, but I'll replace it. So you're going to go ahead and um, open it. So there it is, Absinthe version 2.0.1. Plug in your device to begin. As you can see, it did recognize it. iPod Touch 4G 5.1.1. Detect it. Now all you gotta do is click the jailbreak button. Let's go ahead and click jailbreak. If you're familiarized with Absinthe, you know that's completely normal and you don't have to worry about the restore screen. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at, a, at the device itself. It is plugged in right now, so let's focus it. And I'm going to go ahead and um, see if Cydia actually works. Don't mind that, it's talking about my dock. So, as you can see, we have a normal home screen. Yes, here is Cydia. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you guys. Okay, so after a long time, it finally resprung. So let's go ahead and see if Cydia works. Okay, so after a while, Cydia finally loaded. It's not loaded completely, but as you can see, my SHSH files are saved for 5.0.1, 5.1, and 5.1.1. So now I'm going to go ahead and see if this is actually an untethered jailbreak. So I'm going to power off my device. Okay, so now we're going to boot it up. Okay guys, so it finally loaded up and um, I guess it is untethered so we're going to go ahead and see if it if Cydia launches again. And yes, just like that with no trouble at all, it perfectly worked. This is done, enjoy. 